England have done it and got to the semi-finals of the European Championships. But I just want to talk about that Bukayo Saka performance. Straight from the start, left wing, right wing, right wing back, left wing back. In a bit of that midfield role as well, he was absolutely incredible. And ultimately, this guy on the back of my shirt was the game changing player but before i begin if you are new here please smash that like button and smash the subscribe button it will really help me out so without further ado let's just begin and i think bukayo saka certainly deserved a performance like this he hasn't really been producing in terms of output really in the whole tournament there's been a lot of criticism for him and i just found it really really odd because he's one of england's best sparks on the ball he's the only player you know that's always trying to do something he's always trying to create something but still we go into the media we're seeing things like oh let's drop him for these guys like palmer these fodens who haven't really influenced the tournament tournament at all when they're on the pitch saka is just a manager's dream southgate wouldn't want to replace saka for anyone else and we see the same with Mikel arteta if the game's getting tough you can shift him to left wing back if the game's getting better again you can put him back into right wing bring some on to play left wing back it just gives you so much variety and not many players in world football can do that and ultimately of course the moment that we are all going to be talking about for quite a while if england do go on to win the euros that goal when they needed him most 82nd minute on the clock bukayo saka just that moment of brilliance i don't think you guys are deep in what a brilliant finish that is under the pressure, you had Foden next to him screaming for the ball. I'm going to show an image of that. I just couldn't believe you, Phil Foden, at the tournament you have had, you are calling the ball for one of the best players on that pitch. But anyway, Saka rightfully so ignores Phil Foden and just whips one into the bottom left-hand corner, kisses the post and into the back of the net. Kind of a goal that epitomises the quality of Saka, you know, just enough, precise, Every small detail matters with him and that small detail, even though it scraped the post, was ultimately the thing that helped to go into the back of the net. But he didn't even stop there. He had to be then shifted into left wing back at, um, when uh, extra time had started. Strength then went right wing back. Saka was again brilliant there. Defensively dropping into the left wing back role. We know he doesn't really like to play there, but he has the quality. He's absolutely balling out and you just cannot, you know, criticise a player when they're doing the things he is doing from unfamiliar positions, you know. He's already, there was a stat that came out which shocked me. He scored more goals at major tournaments than David Beckham in the whole of his England career with four versus Beckham's three. Those sort of stats don't just come to scrub players and Bukayo Saka wearing the number seven for England and Arsenal is no scrub at all. He's one of the better players, one of the best players I want to be saying in England's whole squad. And it was Bellingham the week before. It's Saka now and it's just those top players that are coming into it, showing the difference and really showing the quality. I think the only, you know, bad lining for us Arsenal fans is that Saka is going to be off for a longer period of time as England get further through the tournament. Will he be back for the start of the season? I don't know. But anyway, he deserves it. He does deserve a major trophy. It will be interesting if at the um, end of the tournament, the final is between Saka and Saliba. Both players deserve, you know, to be playing in the final for winning these trophies, giving them a taste of silverware. So hopefully if that game does go down, you know, whoever does get it will get that hunger for the season that is coming up to win the Premier League title that we need. But yeah, Bukayo Saka, absolutely incredible there against Switzerland. Commiserations to Switzerland, but Bukayo Saka really did turn it on. Gave his fullback absolutely nothing to defend against. To defend against. Saka was just gliding past him. It was a shame, actually. I feel like he could have done a lot more in the game if Harry Kane had actually just stayed in the box. If Kane had stayed in the box, Bukayo Saka could have left that game with three, four assists and a goal. He was that good, breezing past any player that tried to touch him. Even if he has no help, I think this is the best thing about Saka really, is he doesn't need that help. He can, you know, suffer by not having people that are going to overlap, underlap. He can do it all on his own and there's a very, very rare amount of players who can do that. So, well done to Bukayo Saka, a fantastic performance getting England as well. And I think I do definitely need to talk about that big penalty moment. We Arsenal fans know that Bukayo Saka is an incredible penalty taker. He's been banging them in for us, but it's just different, you know, going and taking a penalty for England where he has previously suffered and messed up and missed a penalty at the Euros prior. That was a big battle for him internally. He really had to score his penalty and what he did, he did it so calmly, no pressure at all. It was almost as if it was nothing for him, a pre-season game. He just rolled the ball into the back of the net really and again, and, you know that celebration just brilliant relief he deserves it there was so much criticism for him after he missed the penalty at the last euros but today head and shoulders england's best player on the pitch 
and he will continue to show his quality we Arsenal fans know that that no matter how much criticism you give him he'll just show his performances on the pitch he isn't going to speak too much in the media he'll just go on and do his thing and it's going to lead England to glory and if he does lead England to glory he's got a serious claim to be one of the players of the tournament if he really does turn up in the last two games semi-final and final if England get there but yeah let me know your thoughts on Bakayi Saka's performance absolutely incredible footballer we're just so lucky to have him and hopefully he'll bring this hunger and again this brilliance into next season for us so we can go and win that Premier League but that's it for now Gunners until next time peace